I have a blank Quicken file here, and I also have a checking account that I download the Web Connect file for. So I wish to create a new account. I'm just going to drag that into the main window and let it create a new account. Click Continue. And as you'll see, all the transactions have been now added to my register. And like all versions of Quicken, an opening balance adjustment will be created. And it'll, it'll do that by comparing what the current online balance is, less the differences of the transactions that have been imported. What is different about 2015 is that this adjustment transaction is now what's called a placeholder. If you're familiar with investment accounts, then you probably know what a placeholder is. But a placeholder actually will change as you make modifications. For example, let's look at the running balance, and I'm going to change this one transaction to $10,000. I'm just going to make it really strange. If you notice, my running balance has not changed, but the opening balance adjustment has. Now I'm going to undo that transaction edit, and I'm going to create a new transaction for today's date. Let's say I sent somebody a gift. It's gifts and donations, and I sent him $50. If you notice, the running balance now does change, and this opening balance adjustment does not adjust. What is going on here? Well, it's pretty simple, and it's not a bug. If we go up and look at the dates, January 9th was the most recent transaction that was downloaded when I created this account. Any transactions or any modifications I make to the register before that final transaction date will affect the opening balance adjustment. Anything after that date will not and it will continue to add new transactions and affect the running balance. If you're questioning the reasoning behind this, it's so that you can add older transactions to your register and not have to fiddle with the opening balance adjustment. A lot of people don't like the fact that they only get 90 days of transactions from the bank, so they like to manually go in and enter more. That way, you can just easily add things in and not have to worry about your running balance being correct. If you don't like the behavior of the placeholder, you can select it, delete it, confirm, and then create a new transaction. December 17th, 14. And make sure you use adjustment as a category because that'll keep it off spending and income reports. And that was 1839, 89. When I return, and now that transaction is static, and no matter anything I change will not affect the opening balance adjustment.